Harvey Wanda and Crescenthal with you on this Tuesday afternoon with another weather blast update. We had a pretty good slug of showers and thunderstorms move through the greater Boston area. There has been a break here and there, but we have more coming. So let's get right into it and check out the watches and warnings. In Lime Green, we do have a flood warning in effect for the greater Boston area in this whole zone, actually from Springfield to Worcester to Boston until 6 o'clock tonight with flooding of streams, streets, and basements. Flood warning in effect for southern New Hampshire as well. In the pink zone, we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 7 o'clock tonight. Again, the conditions are favorable for more severe weather. Now, as we look at the latest Chatham radar, you see a whole slew of moisture coming at us from the west-southwest. It looks like there's some training of the echoes here. See if we can put out a little cursor. The training of the echo is just like this. Precipitation just keeps following this path. We'll continue to move off to the northeast, soaking us this afternoon. At times, it'll be pouring. Other times, just lighter areas of rain coming through. But notice the rain is not moving this way. It's moving this way. So we still have a number of hours to go. Now, let's jump ahead here. This is off the European model for 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. They would suggest a storm of tropical origin, either a tropical low or a tropical storm itself, is located south of the with all kinds of rain and wind coming for southern New England. Starting around midday on Sunday, maybe continuing Sunday night. We're going to have to watch that once that leaves. More wet weather developing off to our west with this cold front will be here by early to midweek next week as we get into a very wet weather pattern. Now, I want to show you some water temperatures. Look at how warm, abnormally warm they are off the Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts coast, and also south of New England. So anything popping closer to the coast with tropical characteristics could intensify because there's a lot of warm water. And don't forget, tropical storms and hurricanes feed on warm water. But notice how cold the North Atlantic is getting. Wow. Wow, this is crazy. You believe in global warming, huh? <laughs> really? Well, it, you know, it's flipped in the last year. It was so warm here last year. Now it's very cold. And the waters off of Africa very cold as well. This is where we normally look for all the tropical storm and hurricane development, but not this year. Along with African dust and cold ocean temperatures, not going to happen. If it happens this year, it's going to be close to the coast. We're going to have to watch and see. All right, weather forecast for the balance of the afternoon as we come back to me. Talks about occasional showers and thunderstorms, some with torrential down pours. There could be some flooding of streams, streets, and basements. Temperatures have fallen back into the 70s. Shower storms gradually ending overnight, low and mid-60s. Now, I know I put my five-day forecast here. I did a little change to it, too. Starting with tomorrow, lots of sunshine, blue sky, low 80s, cooler at the coast. Same deal. Thursday, Friday, beautiful beach weather coming up. Creasing clouds, not bad on Saturday. I took the rain out of the forecast, low and mid-80s, but then look for tropical downpours. Maybe some thunder on Sunday with an increasing southeast wind as that tropical low comes up the coast. It'll be in the mid-70s. Of course, we'll be here throughout the afternoon. We'll keep you posted. For now, I'm Mark Rosenthal.